speaking some of, of some of those other technologies, I did want to ask about um, about that uh, and 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 whether you could just briefly run through some of the sort of moonshot or as as you refer to it, Earthshot technologies that um, that maybe aren't quite there yet uh, on, on a scale, a broad scale, but seem to have the most promise. What would you what would you say to someone who is interested in that? Yeah, I think that you know when we talk about these things, it's related to the audience question, which is that um, for a long time, I think that people really did believe that R and D is what reduced costs, and it, it does on an incremental basis. But I think what we've now come to believe and understand is that deployment is what reduces costs. And so when you look at the earth shots and moon shots that people are talking about, it's really around technologies that are already proven. So whether it's geothermal or long duration energy storage or hydrogen, these technologies are already proven. They don't have technology risk, they're just expensive. And what you find is that to get them across the bridge to bankability requires roughly $100 billion of private sector involvement for every single sector. And there's probably 20 or so sectors we need to do. The good news is that, that $2 trillion exists. People have made those commitments at the COPs and other things. But the question is, how do we coordinate with those capital providers to say, how do we de-risk those sectors? Not just through our office of the loan programs office by providing the first five to $10 billion worth of loans, but also through some of our other offices at the Department of Energy where there may be some risks around um, commodity prices or development risks or other things that we can do, things like streamlining permitting or you know other pieces.